I want to begin by, by honouring the Smiths here today and thanking them for their tireless work. Um, that baby Stephen uh, should be the, the, the first person to be registered, I, I believe, should, should happen, and also that, um, that he will lead the way for so many other babies that need to be recognised. And I, I'm very thankful to the leader for uh, allowing me to be a co-sponsor of, of this bill. A certificate of life is, a, is an extremely important thing for people who have experienced loss. From the moment that the two lines appear on a pregnancy test, a lifetime is lived with that baby. Um, walks in the park are imagined. The, what school names are speculated about. Uh, considerations of the wider family, of sharing the news, of sharing the, the whole experience is, is experienced by that family, that couple, uh, that mother. Uh, so in, it is really important that that life is recognised by the state because when that life is no more, the loss is great. We are seven years on and baby Stephen is as much a part of the Smith family today as he was then. I am 14 years on from my first miscarriage. On the 29th of December, every year we go to the grave of my grandparents because I don't have anywhere else to go and no other place where my first baby can be remembered. We lay a wreath, we remember as a family the lifetime that was lived in that period of time that our baby was due and was a member of our family and continues to be a member of our family. So today is a very significant day it is a real honour to be part of it. I thank you for all the work that you did, for all of the recognition that you are going to bring for yourselves, for Stephen, and for all of the other families in this country who deserve the recognition of their grieving and their loss. Thank you.